of the things that I want to cover and talk about here is when the left wrist breaks down, what actually happens? When the left wrist breaks down, the shaft angle comes back and the putter head actually lifts or elevates so that the back of the putter is what's on the ground. That causes the ball to be struck down in the bottom of the club. Just like hitting a driver, a iron shot off the fairway, anytime we hit it thin or in the bottom of the club, we lose our consistency of distance control. So you don't hit the putt as solidly, the ball doesn't roll as well, we end up breaking down and not hitting as many solid and consistent putts for our distance control. What I'd like to do is talk about one of the fundamentals of the stroke that'll help eliminate that left wrist movement, and that's simply how the shoulders should move in the putting stroke. I like to see from a, a setup position, nice solid position here, and just feel as though the left shoulder is going to rock the putter back, the right shoulder brings it through, and notice that the elbows, as I make this motion, my elbows actually fold a little each way, and you can see how the grip, the end of the grip, stays in reference to the center of my body. You will allow the putter head to actually go ahead and swing through. I see so many times when people are having problems with the wrist breaking down, the next thing I see is they let their left elbow separate, their arms and hands get way ahead, the shoulders open. It's a very, very awkward position. So. We want to get set, get our left hand on, bow the knees a little, thumbs down the grip, and then from there, we're going to simply allow our shoulders to rock and let us keep that putter grip pointed toward the center of our body. One of the great things that's come about for people struggling with the putter is a belly putter. And when you see the uh, actual dynamics of the belly putter, once the putter is anchored, if you watch when that putter is anchored, you can see how my elbows do the same thing and the shaft releases. You'll see that putter shaft will actually release and allow the putter head to swing on through. So again, we get set, nice and comfortable. We allow our elbows and shoulders to relax so the putter can rock back and through and we maintain the relationship of the shaft and the grip to the body center. I think by learning to stroke the putter properly from the big muscles and the shoulders, allowing the elbows to soften and relax, you'll see a great deal of improvement in the consistency of your stroke.